Welcome to a pre-harvest tour of the Miles Standards Complex Pine Barrens Restoration Project, Mass Wildlife and the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation are restoring nearly 2,400 acres of pitch pine and scrub oak natural communities in the Miles Standards Complex. These communities are often referred to as pine barrens. The Miles Standards Complex consists of four conservation properties that are managed jointly to restore pine barrens habitats. These properties are the Miles Standard State Forest, the Southeast Pine Barrens Wildlife Management Area, the Maple Springs Wildlife Management Area, and the Camp Cachalot Conservation Easement. Pine barrens are important as they support many highly specialized and often quite rare species. Over half the species listed by the Massachusetts Endangered Species Act found on land are found in these fire influenced ecosystems with the majority of them being solely dependent upon pine barren communities. Barren species include whippoorwill, hognose snake, New England blazing star, and over a dozen rare moth and butterflies. Pine barrens also provide important habitat for numerous game species, such as American woodcock, rough grouse, and wild turkey. The principal objectives of this project are to restore an open canopy pitch pine scrub oak community to benefit native songbirds, game birds, and state listed butterflies and moths, and to mitigate the wildfire hazard associated with the current heavy fuel load conditions. Some units have significant amounts of large white pine that we will be removing to reduce the accumulation of material that would otherwise occur through mowing and mulching in place. If we were to mulch in place all these large trees, it would inhibit growth of the pitch pine and scrub oak and other pine barren species, as well as inhibit prescribed burning. Trees are generally of poor quality and do not generate any bids when we try to sell them last fiscal year. An added benefit of the project is that it mitigates against the southern pine beetle by increasing the space in between trees and thus lowering the ability of the beetle to communicate with each other. The details of this year's portion of their project are to remove approximately 7,000 trees, mainly white pine, spread over 600 acres. Removal would be mainly by whole tree harvesting and chipping due to the white pine being of low quality. Approximately 175 acres will be mowed and mulched in place in two units located in the Camp Cashlot Conservation Easement. To date, we have mowed and mulched a total of 778 acres, and if we include previous adjacent work in the Southeast Pine Barrens Wildlife Management Area, in the Camp Cashlot Wildlife Conservation Easement, the total is over 1,000 acres of restoration. If this work is not done, the specialized native plants and animals of the pine barrens will vanish from the area. As the barrens become overgrown with dense pitch pine and white pine, other plants such as lowbush blueberry or wild indigo cannot compete and eventually disappear. As their barrens habitat disappears, Many animals depending on these plants for food and cover will also disappear. In addition, if wildfires do occur, the current's dense growth makes it harder for firefighters to suppress the fire and protect nearby property. Future civil cultural treatments beyond the white pine removal will be prescribed burning and mowing and a combination thereof to kill white pines that typically regenerate in such areas and to stimulate sprouting and growth of native shrubs. Active management using these methods will be planned in coordination with natural heritage and done at various frequencies and intensities to encourage a mosaic of pine barrens, shrublands, and woodland communities.